All right. Uh, in advance, I apologize if the video is a little bit shaky. I'm using my new Droid X to uh, film the video, uh, just so I could put a quick video on YouTube. I recently bought the Ruger LCP about uh, two or three months ago, and decided uh, after putting about 200 rounds through it that I'd uh, make a quick little video uh, to give my opinion on the gun. Um, when I was considering which gun to buy, I watched probably a hundred reviews on YouTube about this gun and other guns, and uh, that's what helped me to make my decision, so I figured I'd contribute to the uh, community in case there's anyone else out there that uh, would be interested in this gun. Um, first of all, I'll just go over some things about the gun. Um, the If you've never seen it before, the Ruger LCP stands for light carry pistol uh... it's a pretty sweet little gun it's a 380 auto holds six in the mag one chamber so uh... total of seven uh... possible there you've got a double action only trigger but it's it's reasonably smooth it's actually pretty easy to control once you get the hang of it uh, it's a very small gun uh, as you can see how it fits in my hand I, and that's with the ex extended mag added which they do include the extended floor plate for the magazine in the box when you buy it but with that on there you can get just two fingers around the grip but uh, works pretty good uh, good tight grip right there uh, she has a little bit of a kick to her which is to be expected being such a lightweight gun I believe nine ounces unloaded but, <clears throat> pretty pretty nice gun. Um, I'm sure if you've watched any other reviews, they, they always talk about the sights. They aren't, they aren't the best in the world. But, for what the gun is, they do just fine. And it does have amazing accuracy. It's just getting the hang of gripping it right and learning that trigger control. Well, today, I'd saved up a few milk jugs. Decided I was going to do some uh, amateur ballistics testing with uh, my hollow points. Um, here we go. There's the first one I fired. I set up four milk jugs full of water. And fired into them at uh, level. That stopped in the third jug. As you can see... Uh, the video is probably a little bit fuzzy here. Let's see. Maybe if we... Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, that, that hollow point opened up perfectly. It did exactly what it's supposed to. Beautiful example. Now, the second shot I fired, I just did two. You know, nothing fancy, just just playing around with it. The second one, as you can see, it didn't quite open up like it's supposed to. So, at this point, it's 50-50. <laughs> but, like I said, just two shots, nothing, nothing special. Someday, when the weather warms up, I plan on doing a lot more. And, uh, see how that goes. But, uh... This right here is uh, the Remington Golden Saber uh, brass jacketed hollow point. Uh, I believe 102 grain. Uh, it's probably it's the heaviest uh, 380 round I've I've seen personally. Uh, I, a lot of good reviews. I like it. it it's a pretty reliable round. I plan on trying some Federal Hydro shocks and stuff when I get the chance see how those work out but uh this is my carry ammo the remingtons uh and uh unless i find something else that really impresses me uh, it'll i'll probably stick with these for quite a while but uh moving on from the ammunition uh this gun will shoot just about anything it'll eat whatever you throw at it uh when i'm just target practicing i'm just using whatever is available to me. I've tried some uh, 
Federals, uh, Remingtons, PMCs, uh, Magtech. Uh, so far, out of about 200 rounds, I've only personally seen one jam in this gun, and uh, I wasn't even the one shooting it at the time. I don't, I don't know what caused it, but uh, it did have a uh, a failure to load. Uh, the cartridge did get stuck in the process of going into the chamber, but as soon as we tapped the slide, it, it did finish going in the rest of the way without any trouble. Um, but like I said, that's the only time, and out of the 200 rounds I've put through it, that it's I've seen it that happen, and that was within the first hundred rounds we'd put through the gun and I know with these smaller guns you, you do have to get them broke in so I, I do consider that just part of the break-in period and uh, don't hold it against it also at the time I, I'd like to point out that when the the one jam did occur I was not using the factory magazine I was using a uh, mag pro magazine I picked up at the store for it so there you go it could have been the magazine but I've used both the factory magazine and the Pro Mag several times and uh, never had any other problems. So, very reliable gun, lightweight, uh, super tiny, fits in any pocket. Several holster options you can get for it. I just grabbed this one real quick when I bought it. Plan to get a different one someday. Probably get a pocket holster as well. But this one works very nice. Just a Phobos Ruger LCP holster. I'm sure you've seen them. It just locks right in there. And then that just, just regular paddle holster there just slips on your pants. Works pretty good. Well, I'm a very happy owner of this gun, and I highly recommend it to everyone, every chance I get. Um, and uh, if you're interested in getting a small, lightweight gun for personal protection, you can't go wrong with this one. Um, luckily for me, means I've had no problems, I haven't had to deal with Ruger's customer service or anything like that, but from what I hear, they're excellent. And so that was another factor in choosing this gun is knowing that uh, the people that made it is there to back it up and uh, resolve any issues that you may ever have. So uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the Nut and Fancy Project on YouTube. Be sure to check out their uh, channel and subscribe. Uh, He's an excellent review reviewer of guns and knives and other uh, combat items. Um, very entertaining and uh, informative. And uh, his review on this gun is probably the best review on YouTube you will find. And uh, uh, definitely you should check it out. Alright, well, this is Biohazard Matthews signing off.